Right then, welcome back. Today, today we're going to ride some golden oldies. Golden what? Golden oldies. Um, we're going to do the classics of the 60s. Now, confession time, old motorbikes aren't really my thing. I don't really like anything pre-92, 93, so let's call it first generation Fireblade. Anything before that, I'm not really interested because... They're not the greatest things in the world to ride, and they tend to go rotten, and prices tend to be a million quid. But anyway, we're riding uh, a 1960s Honda. Apparently, a bloke called Mike Halewood rode it. I'm only joking. I know who Mike Halewood is. Um, so it's the Halewood uh, RC181 Honda, which um, is all right. And first up, we've got a time attack on the Suzuka East course now. Hmm, the bikes are okay, they're not too bad. The MV sounds nice because the MV's a triple, whereas the Honda's a four. But, hmm, yeah, the handling is interesting. I know they're old bikes, I get that. But Milestone thought not to put things like Multistradas and GSs in, but they've put an old Honda that uses cross-ply tyres that as soon as you get on the gas, it's sliding about everywhere. So I'm just a bit confused, but anyway, Time Attack, Suzuki East, Old Honda, enjoy. done was it difficult mm, not really was it interesting not really is the bike sliding right all over the place when you get on the gas yes it is which makes things interesting now truth be told i'd already kind of lost interest and i was just going through the motions of getting it done because of my ocd and the fact that i need to complete everything and finish all of the races so we move on to Brands Hatch and I was like mm, it's not mm, it's not this it's not that it's not the other it is what it is and attempt number one fifth lap I'm in front by three and a bit seconds get on the curb I've turned the wheelie control right off because I didn't think it'd go anywhere near flipping me off the back and I was wrong so that was that attempt number two went much better uh, but again, I still, I still wasn't convinced that. Oh, look at him straight off the back as well, and another one. Holy moly, there's bikes everywhere. Yeah, I still wasn't convinced that this, uh, this was an event for me.
and it's done not uh, not without the AI trying to kill me by throwing motorbikes at me which um, was very nice of them right the way through that and I, they're all right they are what they are which is the most horrifically non-committal generic comment in the world but they are what they are they ride how they ride and I guess there is a bit of fun in sliding them round. So we've given the Honda a couple of goes and it's alright. It sounds a bit weird and I know what the old bikes with the megaphone exhausts sound a bit bleh, a bit. I've chopped my exhaust out and put a bean can on there and that's how it sounds. So I thought I'd give the MV a go. It's a triple. I'm a big fan of triples. Um, my missus had just bought a 765 triple which is absolutely lovely. So we're at Magello and we're on the MV and yet again even with anti-wheelie on one I just give it the beans off the line and I'm straight off the back attempt number two the AI were a little bit rubbish in the corners these bikes don't lean over very far a consequence of the tyres I'm guessing so attempt number two a little bit of argy bargy and we're off again so attempt number three we will get it done absolutely 100% get it done um, and yeah, we're on the MV and we're on the Magello short course. we're done we're done we're done and the mv sounds nicer but the honda rides better so can i have the honda with the mv triple and then i'll be a happy boy um, i know there's been a dlc recently uh, they've stuck a, another pattern 500 or something on there uh, so there's actually three bikes to use so i'll i'll get around to the the, the dlc event at some point so next one um, are we at, is this Okayama? I can't remember for the life of me. But we've gone with the MV again. Um, yeah, it's Okayama. We're on the international circuit. Um, and I've gone with the MV because I'll give them both a go and then we'll use whichever one's the nicest for the last event. Um, yeah, this one... Um, this one was interesting in the fact that... One, I flipped it again. I just won't learn. And two, this course is a bit all about corner speed and these bikes don't like corner speed because they don't lean over very far so you've got to hammer the brakes get around the corner then get on the gas and then you can't get on the gas because the tyres haven't got a lot of grip so yeah the change of riding style that was required was quite difficult for me but Akayama on the MV um, 
first and last lap. Enjoy. Done. We won it. Um, won it by miles in the end, six point something seconds. Although, no, oh no, they didn't do the usual where the lap times are pre-planned or whatever else it is. So, yep, yeah, fairly straightforward in the end. So, which one, which one to use for the last event? Which one to use for the last event? Indeed. Mm, where are we at before we go anywhere? Alton, 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 Alton on the Fosters. I think it's got to be the Honda because the Honda rides a bit better. So we'll go with the Honda. Um, setup wise, we're not going to change anything since we first set it up. It doesn't ride brilliantly, it's alright. The tyres are the limiting factor and the lean. So, attempt number one, cross the line um, in fourth. It was a bit of a scrappy race, didn't really do anything wrong. I just I couldn't get the handle on the bike and the track. Um, so, we had to go again. As it's been right the way through, first and last lap on a Honda RC181 at Alton.
and it's done that's all five done um, good thing about those tires they hold temperature in them pretty well which is nice for a change rather than me struggling to get a front or a back tire to the right temperature it's done um, it's all right as an event it's not too bad the best thing about it is we've got an r7 um, which I can't complain about at all because that is one of the most lottery win bikes for me that is ever going to possibly be. I know they're not very nice to ride apparently and I know you need the kit on them to get them making more than 100 horsepower otherwise they're flat as a fart but it doesn't matter because it's a bit of unobtainium so if I win the lottery I'll buy one and I'll do a video on it which is never going to happen but hey ho. So yeah it's done thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it don't forget to leave me a comment like subscribe and Fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.